everybody, my name is Guillaume Charon. This is my first tutorial and bear with me with my English because this is not my first language. So let's talk about linear wipe with a stroke. This is a linear wipe. We have two solids, one blue, one yellow, orange, and we add to the blue one the linear wipe basic uh, plugin in After Effects. And it does simply this. It transitions between the two layers. Uh, nothing very exciting, but you can add some feather if you want. But this is it. What if you want to add a stroke, a line across this edge here? Well, what I did, because I didn't know how to do that, there's no option here. What do you do? Well, you ask people who know how to do it. <laughs> this is my trick. Uh, you ask Dan Roberts and you ask Philip Van Duren. And by the way, uh, again, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, Philip. Uh, so they helped me uh, with the to find the solutions about that. So let's go with the solution uh, from Dan Roberts. So he's using only one thing, the beam effect. Yes, beam effect, what it does, basically, let, let's add a new layer. Okay, that's fine. And let's add the beam effect. Beam effect. And it's... This is the effect. It's like laser beam. If you want to do some Star Wars stuff, you can play with this. But we're not doing some Star Wars stuff. Well, we are doing some wipes like in the Star Wars movie. Anyway, so with the beam effect, there is some expression used on the starting point here and the ending point. Let's open this. Here, I have the expressions and again I won't try to explain everything that it does but basically it's telling the starting point to stick to the edge on the top of the composition and the ending point sticking to the bottom of the composition. So the beam effect is right here and it's following the transition completion of the linear wipes. That's magical. Ooh. The only thing that could bug you is the fact that at zero here, the linear wipe, you, you still see the beam effect. So uh, maybe it doesn't bother you, maybe it does. So let's just keep this in mind if you want to do some transition with the beam effect. So in the next part, we'll use the Philip Van Duren, ex uh, not expression, but it's the composition of several uh, plugins. So let's see what it does. Again, we have like, it seems to be the same exact thing. But if you look at the effects tab, here we have linear wipe. Uh, we have radial wipe also, but I'll get to, to this in a moment. We have solid composite, we have minimax, and we have also alpha levels. Let's isolate, first of all, the linear wipe. Let's add a solid composite to it. You have to put the opacity to 50%. Now it's doing something strange here, but don't worry, it will be fixed in a moment. The color here will be the color of your um, stroke. And then you add the minimax and you have to put the radius at whatever you want. You see now the stroke is added to the layer. But uh, the other thing you have to change is the channel set it to alpha. Then you add the alpha level. And then here it seems to be just by putting the alpha level plugins, it seems to be fixing the problem. But if you reset this, you see that it's not fixed. So you have to put in the input black level, you have to put the number 128. So now it's fixed. And if we play with the linear wipe, again, everything is following. And here, if you look at the edge, at zero complete transition completion, the stroke is gone. So let's put it back here. Now, the other advantage of this is you can add your own radial wipe or any other wipe you want. It works. So let's uh, open this and then you see the stroke is following. 
So it could be helpful with that. If you're using some, some text, this technique won't work because it's uh, using the alpha and with the text. So it will put a stroke around your text. So if this is what you want, that's fine, but it won't work with text. Probably you had to pre-compose it, something like that. So now uh, let's add some creativity to it because that's fine with linear wipe, but uh, maybe we can put some, some cool stuff in it. Oh, what's that? So here is a little transition, like a curtain opening to a text layer and a background. So cool linear wipe with a stroke. How do I do that? How do I did that? It's simple. You have here a precomp with the wipes in it. Let's isolate one layer here. And I had some other plugins to the original ones. So here's the linear wipe. Here's the beam effect from Dan Herberts. And I add a CC bender and a mirror effect. For the CC bender, if you want to replicate this effect, you can put the amount to minus 50, set it to bend. And there's a little trick here. The top is on the bottom and the base is on top. Okay, so it's reverse. And for the mirror, you put this to 180 degrees. And uh, you put the, uh, as you can see, the reflection center is right in the center, almost. So now with the, let's, let's RAM preview this. Okay, so you see the effect. I had some keyframe for the transition completion of the linear wipes. And it does exactly what it's supposed to do. So now it's a, like a cute little animation. Add some vignetting to, to it, add a texture. You won't have the texture in the project. I'm not sure I can redistribute this. So I'm sorry, but you can add your own texture to it. Put it to linear burn in my uh, composition. Uh, so it's doing this. So that's the cool linear wipe with a stroke. Thank you again. My name is Guillaume Charon, and thanks again for the two guys who helped me, Philip and Dan. Thank you, and see you soon.